He hit my car with his car. No, Wait, your car was too close. <laughs> what? Wait, what? He's like, oh, so you got a new truck. He's like, can I drive it? I was like, sure. No, I and then, I moved your car and then for came, you. And then he came back in. He goes, I crashed your car into my car. Still, still <laughs> I was like, what? John Barnett. Well, that was close. Sir. Who's John that? John Barnett. That's good the Russian bar John Barnett. Is that basketball player? Nope. Basketball? Nope. I know Josh Barnett. Nope. One of the MMA OGs. I know Josh Hartnett. Ooh. I know that too. I know Nathan Barnett. Okay. We're a wiggly going guy. Farther away than what I thought we were going to Oh, see. that guy. The yeah, freaking Nathan. crazy guy. He's great. Yeah, What's back happening? Back to John Barnett. I know Josh Hartnett. Ooh, look at Josh that belly. Hartnett. I got a lot of pho. That is a belly. Let's go. Hey, baby. rub it, Ryan. Just touch it a little bit. You know who this hey, guy for is. For luck, touch it. For you luck. don't remember for his luck. name, but you know, you know who know. this guy is. Bob, John Barnett. John Barnett, absolutely. Two words, but really one word. Whistleblower. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> Compound word, I think. We, we you do like know. A, you ever heard of Boeing? It's an airline. Oh! Oh! He didn't suicide, so he promised he didn't. Exactly. He promised he didn't? Tell us about it, Joe. Okay. Tell us, Joe. This guy. <laughs> From Boeing. Joeing. Boeing is an oh, airplane Boeing company. Guy, yeah. Yeah. Boeing. Yeah, it's an airplane company. Boeing. One of the biggest ones, right? Sometimes you fly them. You don't know. It might be American Airlines, okay. Delta Airlines. What they do is it's from Boeing, but then they put their own color on it. That's why you don't know which airplane you're gonna get on. And this guy, he said, you know what? I'm crazy. I'm worried about all these shitty parts that they aren't fixing on the planes. What's happening? He went, doo doo, whistle blow. And then he was about to go to court and maybe he was testifying, and in the middle of it, he decided to kill himself out of nowhere. He was supposed to testify again the next day. Oof. And, and like, he just had a, I think I just killed myself. I think he's probably gambling on Solana shit coins, and he's like, fuck, I lost, lost everything. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah he killed right when the market went down a little bit. Yeah. He so said, oh, I shouldn't have had the ABA. Just in oh, case you're God. not as intelligent as these two guys, a former Boeing employee Boeing. known for raising concerns about the firm's production standards has been found dead in the U.S. Wow. He worked for Boeing for more than 30 years before retiring in 2017. In the days before his death... So he retired already. He wow. retired. Mm -hmm. It's depressing, retiring. Yes, very, it is. Very sad. In the days before his death, he had been giving... Evidence in a whistleblower lawsuit against the company. Boeing said it was saddened to hear of Mr. Barnett's passing. Well, there you go. They're good then. <laughs> Glad they said that. That's, that's, I just feel yeah, way yeah. better about it now. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, Boeing said they were saddened to hear of the death. I rest my case. I really thought they were behind it too. They <laughs> they wouldn't have killed them if they said they were sad. Because killers aren't sad about their victims. Yeah. They're usually ecstatic, <laughs> elated. It makes sense. <laughs> Imagine they go in to raid like the Boeing guy, the main dude, and they catch him and he's like, Oh, it wasn't him. It's not <laughs> him, dude. <laughs> Here, dude, here's some tissues. <laughs> this guy's sad. It wasn't him. No way. <laughs> so apparently the 62-year-old had died from, quote, self-inflicted wounds on March 9th. Uh, from 2010, he was employed as a quality manager at the North Charleston plant. The facility builds the 787 Dreamliner, which is a state-of-the-art airliner used mainly on long-haul routes. Um, in 2019, Mr. Barnett said that under pressure, workers had been deliberately fitting substandard parts to aircrafts on the production line. Here's the crazy part. A lot of um, just planes recently have been shown like this fucking door blew off mid flight, yeah, 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 or like yeah, exactly. there's that there's that most recent viral clip of an airplane that's like trying to land and stuff. There's just fucking flames and smoke coming from it. So it's like these are all technically Boeing planes, so it kind of fits the appropriate narrative of like where this guy was going. Yeah, but yeah. I don't even know who else make airplanes. Are majority of planes Boeing already? Yeah, it seems like it. That's why I'm like, wh wh where else do they buy it from? Then? Yeah, who, who else? Is Airbus Boeing? 
Well, Lockheed Martin makes planes no. too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But that Boeing, like every plane I've ever been on, I think has been a Boeing. Boeing. Boeing like well, the there. commercial ones are mostly Boeing, right? Yeah. Because Lockheed does like a lot yes. of. I think they do like the kill ones. Yeah, killer ones. I think Boeing Jay's? does kill ones too. They're a defense kill contractor. Oh, oh They also kill their own employees. I heard. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. Where'd you hear that? No, but they're sad. So they yeah, they're be, sad. Oh, but they can't Retiring is hard. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he sure. also said that he had uncovered serious problems <clears throat> with oxygen systems, which could mean one in four breathing masks would not work in an emergency. Still good odds, though, Whoa. one in four. Huh? Come on. Well, Aren't we overpopulated, too? Yeah. Oh, one in four. Yeah, one in four. Oh, yeah, that's bad. So it helps out. <laughs> oh, it helps, it helps out. I mean, yeah. <laughs> 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 Just trying to have your opinion. <laughs> he said soon after starting work in South Carolina, he had become concerned that the push to get new aircraft built meant the assembly process was rushed and safety was compromised, something the company denied. He later <clears throat> said that the uh, workers had failed to follow procedures intended to track components through the factory, allowing defective components to go missing. He said in some cases, substandard parts had been removed from scrap bins and fitted to planes that were being built to prevent delays on the production line. So, you know, in, in order to meet, like, fucking quotas to get shit done, they're literally just taking, like... And, you know, who knows what the definition of substandard is? Like, I don't know if there's a some sort of grading scale, and maybe this got an 8 out of 10, but that's substandard. But maybe this is a 2 out of 10. But again, all I'm saying is, in lieu of the recent viral clips and different things that are happening where doors are the high frequency of those videos he was also wow. saying that shit was actually removed from scrap bins and put on plants yeah he did say that yeah, that's crazy. aftermarket parts yeah. salvage title they don't even let you drive cars like that that's true <laughs> for me i'm like when they say subpar right is that like instead of using the real screws and tightening it someone goes with the masking tape and just goes like that i know right like, I want to... Are they using rivets or screws? Yeah. But if you go to a scrap bin, isn't that recycling? Mm. Which is kind of eco-friendly. Oh. oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that... Yeah. I, like, I like that train of thought. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. to be fair... The, the, the liberals are very happy. Yeah, yeah to be fair, so. I mean, we've all been on airplanes probably numerous times. Have we ever personally encountered certain issues that were, like, truly life-threatening or anything? I'm, no. I'm just asking seriously. No. Honestly, I never have. I, I think that I they lie to me. Sometimes like we'll be docked on and they're like, oh, the air conditioning is broken. And I'm like, you know, it was probably something way worse, but they just lie. Oh, you know what? Oh, on Allegiant, yes, there has been AC broken once. Yep, they'll be like, air conditioning is broken. I'm saying life threatening. Yeah, what the? F one time uh, coming back from Hawaii, uh, coming landing in Hawaii on Hawaiian Airlines. As we're landing, there was a big giant bang that was like really loud that came from like one of the engines, and then the cabin started filling up with smoke. Oh, Shut the fuck up! Yeah. That's fucking crazy. And then the and the Honolulu uh, fucking fire department had to come meet us on the tarmac or whatever. Wow! And Did they start like, spraying the plane while you guys were still in the air? No. Okay. So it was like it was when we landed. It was oh, like still <laughs> yeah, we were landed already. So we we see a bunch of smoke in a cabin, and then we didn't think anything of it. We we're like, oh, because you know you're trying. To be optimistic. Like, so it's like four really hours good. of safe flight. Yeah. And then like the last As you're moment, landing, poof, that's something like pops, crazy. something happened. What if it's like, whose fanny pack turned on this smoke button back here? And I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> Thank God, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Thank God it was the last. Like the guy, it was like Columbo. It was like, it's only going to be done by a fucking fanny pack. <laughs> a real heavy fucking fanny pack. There's nothing else that could possibly have this kind of intention. Somebody have one of those things, huh? How did this happen? Anybody got a track things? record of fanny pack smoke fire starting shit? I only see this one other time. Uh, it was a, uh, it was an oven. <laughs> in Pasadena. <laughs> in, <laughs> And a shithole in Pasadena. <laughs> I love like airplanes, cars, trains. <laughs> I just hate mistakes. I just hate accidents. Yeah. Why do they have to happen? I agree. Yeah. I agree. Were yes. you in the oops, baby? Hmm? Were you in an accident? Maybe. <laughs> I hate myself. No, they're not. They're, they're, him and yeah. his brother's ages are so close. <laughs> he hit my car with his car. No, what? your car was too close. <laughs> what? Wait, what? He took did you took my car and crashed it into his car. Yep. <laughs> what the hell is that? I did. No way, this is dude. when I got my white truck. He's like, oh, so you got a new truck. He's like, can I drive it? I was like, sure. No, I and then, I moved your car for came, you. And then he came back in, he goes, I crashed your car into my car. Still <laughs> I, was like, Still I no, I was moving the cars out of the driveway 
And then I scraped his car up against my bumper. And the <laughs> fucked up thing is his fucking sides all got all fucked up. And my my car has like one scratch on the oh, bumper. Shit. And I was like, how the fuck did this happen? <laughs> Which I gotta still pay you for. I like how Bart's like, yeah, he crashed his car to my car. I'm like, no. And he's like, yeah. <laughs> One driver, two damages. <laughs> That's pretty good. Man. What did Wait, you say to him immediately? Wait, when did this happen? I think it was like a couple years. It was like a the year white ago. truck is like forever. I don't yeah, know. yeah, it's like yeah. like a few years year and ago. And, ago. and you haven't paid him for it. I forgot. I told him to go get it done, and I'll just pay the bill. Oh, but you haven't got it fixed yet. I've been busy. I don't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's never gonna thing. get fixed, dude. It probably is never gonna get it's fixed. Bart forgot fixed. about it. Bart's sitting there like. <sighs> We should make it a big deal, and I'll call my insurance and you call your insurance. <laughs> <laughs> we should make it and a big deal. And then we make it a lawsuit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let's sue each other. Oh, yeah. oh, Jovi Bart, I'm, I'm showing up every day to court. Yeah, Jovi yeah. Bart. <laughs> Whose side are you taking? Who side are we taking? I can't wait for the precedent oh, to create. I'm going to be neutral. I'm going to yeah. listen. Yeah, I'm going to yeah, listen. Yeah. Both ears open. I, I wanted funny. to be a nice friend that day because the trash was out, and I said, Bart, I'll move your truck out of the way for you so I can move my truck to the side. And then I scraped the fuck out of his door on my bumper. I'm probably on Bart's side. You know <laughs> Both ears open. The guy found Bart's side. There's only one driver. What was miscalculated to scrape so, the thing? Pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> Holy shit. The how did driver, we never hear about that? I started our, off with <laughs> No, both of our cars were like faced this way. And then when I brought his truck, the passenger door, uh. Scraped against my grill. He's talking as if he's adding logic <laughs> yeah. to the situation. No, he's talking as if a robot did this. <laughs> but like, what? I, no, where did you misjudge the distance? Like, because he There's lives no in a cul-de-sac right. with no curb. So did the car do it or did you do it, Joe? He lives in a cul-de-sac with no curb, <laughs> so that it's not a straight line. As a member of the jury, I'm looking for remorse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, <laughs> it just happened. I remember he came inside and I was like. What happened? He goes, the way your car's shaped, man. <laughs> Dude. I'm allowed to shape that way. The way your car's shaped, man. What happened? That is so fucked up, dude. And the way my car was shaped. <laughs> yeah. It's the two opposing shapes, dude. That's one of those fucking, well, her skirt shouldn't have been so short. <laughs> All right, now I'm back in the middle. Of hey, it's kind of Bart's fault. Bart's fault. You live yeah. in a cul-de-sac without a... He has no curb on a cul-de-sac. What kind of bullshit is that, dude? Yeah. yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? I fucked up, I think. And what's up with you and I was promises? To me, I was shocked how fucked up his door was. And when you look at my truck, nothing. There's like a little scratch like that. And I was like... Damn, bro. Fuck, I'm sorry. Yeah, but not. you got really fucked. No. He's like, Tacomas are sick. <laughs> Tacomas are pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 